Hello and welcome to Saturday afternoon. We are one day closer. I think we're now one week away from actually downloading the new version of uh, FIFA of FC 25. Obviously, there's been no content on FC 24 for a fair few days now. And to be honest, I'm, I'm going to check in this video for a start um, before talking about some FC 25 stuff, but not expecting anything here today. Uh, they've even taken out the live tab which pretty much shows, well, backs up everything else that's been said about this. So, yeah, let's have a look through, just see if there's anything. There won't be anything in Evolutions, but we'll have a look anyway. Um, 23 hours there, seven days there. I don't know if they're going to do like a... They probably won't, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. They might just do some random Evolutions, um, just like non-specific general ones kind of thing at the end of FC24 when the new version is out because there will be some people who will stick to playing FC24 who won't want to get the new one who will still want to play um, 24 and obviously they keep the servers open they keep the stuff going so you can physically play it online um, for a while I think for a, an, a couple of years so it's not as if it's like the end of the game it's just the game moves on. Players upgrade, players update, etc. And we'll be talking about that later. So yeah, there's nothing in Evolutions, nothing in the objectives, nothing in the SPCs by the looks of it. No new players, just Messi and Mbappe as the newest ones. And then upgrades. Yeah, we've got nothing going on over here. There we go. There is nothing new today. We've got five minutes till the preview back, so we will talk about I looked and saw this online earlier on. Um, the most improved players in ratings, like the difference between FC24 and FC25. A couple of them won't be surprising, but the top card that's improved is Cole Palmer, who's gone from whatever his thing was before. I think it was a 64. Uh, let's go check it out, actually. We might as well have a look while we're here. So we want to put... Cons uh, yeah, loans off. Concepts on. Palm. Man, a 66. There's his card. Man City and Chelsea. Back in the day before Cole, Car Cole Palmer did what he did. He's an 85 in the new game. He's got a plus 19 overall. That is a big old rise for Palmer. One play style here. Wonder what he's going to have in the next game. We will see officially in a few days. The second biggest rise is Adam Wharton. Now, he started at Blackburn and Palace, as you see here. He also has the technical play style. And he also has a very, very average card for a silver. But he's now going to be a 78 rated card. Madly, he still has the same pace. But the shooting, the passing, the dribbling, the defending and the physical have all evolved upwards. So he's got a plus 15. Obviously, he was in the England squad for the Euros as, uh, for the last tournament as well. So he is there. And the third highest riser, which you won't be surprised to see, it's the bronze that everybody was after last year. 62 Kobe Mainu is rising up. To a 77. He's got a plus 15 rating overall. His pace, the same as Wharton, his pace is still the same. His shooting, his passing, his dribbling, his defending, and his play styles rise. As I'm sure his composure is going to be nuts because for the player that he is, the composure he shows on the ball is brilliant. So it'll be interesting to see how his card looks after the plus 15 rise. The next guy on the list is a Aroma Striker. Dov, my bad. So he's gone from a silver 70 card at Girona at the beginning of the season. Next year, he is an 84 rare gold striker at Roma. 85 pace. 84 pace, 85 shooting, 81 physicals, 79 dribbling. So everything's going to consider considerable rise for him there. Um, defending gets a little bit better as well, but that's not massively important. Next biggest riser that's on the list is 
Gerald Quadsa, obviously Liverpool centre back. He goes from 62 to 75 in the season. Uh, obviously, he's on loan at Forest this year. Sorry, no, I get my people confused. He's not a loan at Forest. Quadsa is still a Liverpool backup option. As you can see there, his card was pretty rubbish from the start. But now, 74 pace, 74 defending, 77 physical, and then normal defending and passing for a centre-back. He's, he's got a common gold 75 card. Is going to be nice. Um, only straight off the bat, though, once we get other cards and things like that, it's not going to be that great. But he's there with the upgrade. The Man City winger, Savio, comes in next. Now, he starts as a 70, also at Girona. Now, he's gone up to an 82. He's got a plus 12 and an upgrade from a common silver to a rare gold. 88 pace, 84 dribbling shows his improvement in the last year. Um, his shooting and passing have gone up 10 as well and his physical have gone up 6 to 53. So it's a bit of a rise, but it's not massive. He'll be useful from the start for sure. Now, there obviously there are a whole load have gone up like 9, 10, 11 kind of thing. But one of the um, the biggest rises who's had an excellent last year, a name will be familiar to you all, Victor Goikeres. I think it's Goikeres. I can never pronounce it properly. And I can't find him. What? Uh, let's go and have a quick look. So he's Swedish. In the Portuguese league. There can't be that many of them, surely. Wasn't still at Coventry, was he? Oh, concert players. Ah, that's why. That's why. Um, there we go. Okay, so 75, Victor Goikarez. Goikarez? He always sounds wrong when I say it. He's gone up to an 84. He's got 90 pace, which I imagine will be split similarly to this. He's got 91 physical with 83 shooting and 80 dribbling. He's still pretty good. So, yeah, he has risen nicely there to an 84 rated card. There will be a whole bundle of 84s that we're like, who? But we'll get used to them. Obviously, it will come, become second nature if you're playing the game on a regular basis. You see those packs open and you see those cards that you are used to getting. Uh, and the other thing I saw was the fastest players in FC25. Now, obviously, there's one main character who stands out, which is Mbappe. Not a surprise. No real shocker. It's the highest rated player in the game at the beginning, and he's kept his 97 pace rating, which makes him the fastest player in packs available at the start of the game. The second fastest chap, or lady, to be honest, overall, is Adeyemi. Now, obviously, I've just got his special card there, but there you go, he's had a whole bundle of them. He has 96 pace in FC24, and he's kept that 96 pace in FC25, despite going down a rating. His shooting his will be worse, his passing will be worse, his dribbling is the same. Uh, physicals have got better, but overall, his rating has gone down to a 79. The third fastest player, um, actually, there are quite a few evens here. Gareth Bale is an icon, a 95 pace icon. His volleys are going to be nuts. He's going to have um, the technical ability, I'm sure the technical play style, surely for his technique with volleys and just shots. And then you've got Alfonso Davis, the Bayern left back. The Canadian player that everybody knows is quick. He joins Bale on 95 pace. Along with Vinicius Jr. That is not going to be a surprise for anybody. He's got a rise from an 89 to a 90 card. And he's kept his 95 pace. Um, obviously with a plus one you can expect. Yeah, his shooting has gone up as well. His passing has gone up. His dribbling has gone up. And his physicals have gone up as well. So that is a whole rise for Vinicius Jr., which is not a surprise. He's had a very good year. Next up, although he's dropped a rating overall, Diaby has moved to the Saudi League. 
and he's kept his 95 pace. He is going to be rapid. First day. Shooting's improved. Passing's gone down, but the pace remains the same for him. He is the, well, third, joint third fastest at 95 pace overall. And then we've got a guy who's risen one. Oh, no, not you. Theo Hernandez. We've got to be specific. He's gone from an 85 to an 87. He had a lot of special cards last year. Team of the week, team of the week, team of the week. Ultimate dynasties, team of the year, team of the season champions, team of the season. Not a surprise. But his 90, sorry, his 85 has gone up to 80, 87. He's got a plus two pace, a plus five shooting, plus two passing, plus three defending, plus three dribbling, and plus five physical. He's going to be a very good card for an 87. And he is there rocking it. French is going to be very linkable. AC Milan can be very linkable. Yeah, it's all good with Theo and Anders there. And then also on um, 95 pace is Yankuba Minte, who is being brought by Brighton recently. Well, he's, been, he's a Brighton player. He was on loan to Fyre last season, did well with them. He's gone from 88 pace to, to 95 pace. Obviously demonstrating his ability while at final for the season. He's a 74 silver rare card overall. But he's got the quick step plus play style. The same as Vinicius, the same as Eddie Emi and the same as Mbappe. So that's going to be interesting for him. For silver golds, uh, sorry, for rare silvers he's going to be useful. Which could play into evolutions as well. Then the fastest female comes in. Last on the list at an 84 rated card, Rodman. Where's our actual card? Here we go. She was 84 last year. She's 84 this year and she's got 94 pace. The shooting's gone up. The passing's gone up. The dribbling's the same. The defending and the physicals are the same. But yeah, the card is there and she is the fastest lady in FC 25, Trinity Rodman. She will get special several cards this special several special cards this year. Puts your words the right way around. Um, and yeah, that's where we are. That's the fastest players. That's the most improved players in FC 25. We will see what that happens next week, and we'll see more about that. Assuming all of this stuff that I'm seeing is final. But for now, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your picks, packs, and play. And see you tomorrow with whatever is new in the game tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll look at some FC25 stuff as per normal. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. Goodbye.